Hi everyone! In this tutorial we are going to paint this beautiful iguana in watercolors. You will find an outlined image as well as all the materials in the description. I usually try my watercolors on a piece of paper before I actually paint. So for this tutorial I'm going to use Fellow Blue, Permanent Blue Violet, Paints Grey, Burnt Sienna and uh, One Dex Brown. You will also find a reference photo in the description. First of all, I draw the outlines with a pencil. Usually would make them lighter, but I want you to be able to see them well on the video. I'm now going to apply some water on the surface of the iguana. This is what's called wet on wet technique. The bottom jaw has some different colors, so I'll start with the upper jaw. This is my first wash, so I keep my colors light and transparent. I'm only building the base, starting with blue and then adding some violet. The neck is darker, so I use more watercolor, knowing that it will be even darker later. Now I'm just roughly adding more color to create the next fold. I'm working on my second wash now, this time starting with the bottom jaw. I use burnt sienna and fallow blue at the base and I apply some brown to create colorful spots. I look at the reference photo to decide where to put them, but I don't try to create an absolute copy. For the second wash, I really work on creating the highlights on the eyelids of the iguana. Time to work on our darkest parts. For that I use a mix of paints grey and fallow blue. To create tiny scales on its neck, so I put some masking liquid. Make sure your paper is dry and also allow it to dry after you put your masking liquid. Let's work on the darkest parts of the head now. I follow the reference photo and mostly use paints grey to create shadows. Then I'm going to detail the largest scales. Some of them have more blues, some more violets. I just do however I feel looks good. I 
I use my hair dryer quite often when I work, simply because I don't have enough patience to wait for my paintings to dry. This way I spend 12 hours on my painting, if I wasn't using my hair dryer that would have been at least 20. I outline the scales with my paints grey. You can also use a liner pen, but I thought that black would be too dark and I wanted to keep softer lines. And finally we start working on the eye. This is my favorite part. The eye actually brings the painting together and gives life to the iguana. So the eye itself but also the shades of the lid are very important. These are what make it look natural if done well.
Our painting is now completed. I hope you enjoyed this video. As I said before, there is an outline image in the description as well as a link to the original photography. In case you paint this iguana, please share it with me on Facebook or Instagram. I would really like to see your result. Don't forget to subscribe and follow me on YouTube. What other tutorial would you like to see here? Thank you for watching.